Well, corrections admit their electronic monitoring technology can be tampered with. The department is aware of offenders wrapping tinfoil around their ankle bracelets to interfere with the signal. But as Zane Small found out, it's not always the offenders to blame for weaknesses in the home detention system. A not-so-secret house arrest hack. Wrapping tinfoil around an electronic monitoring device to disrupt the signal and essentially walk free. Buying foil today. To do some sketchy shit. Do -da, do -da. Some offenders are making their way around the process by foiling their bracelets uh, and they are committing offending. The Department of Corrections is aware of it too, but playing it down. In regards to tampering with uh, uh, the equipment, it, in July it was around 1.4% of the entire population. So the reality is most people do comply uh, with these orders, with this technology. There's roughly 6,500 people on electronic monitoring across all sentences, according to corrections. So if 1.4% tampered with their ankle bracelets in July, that's still about 90 people. So that certainly is not fit for purpose. Um, and if you combine that with the lack of resources in the system, victims are quite rightly concerned. Like all technology, it is able to be challenged. And this footage obtained by News Hub shows it's not always the offenders creating weaknesses in the home detention system. It means it was taken off yeah. in error. You heard that right, an officer from First Security, who are contracted by corrections, admitting this man's electronic monitoring device was taken off in error. I was in bed, um, sleeping, to turn up in the middle of the night and said they were there to take my bracelet off. I um, said, oh, it's got to be a mistake, there's no reason why it should be coming off. Um, refused to get it taken off at first, um, asked him to ring someone and, you know, double check. He came back five minutes later and, and said he'd been told to take it off. The man contacted his lawyer, but it was two days before a security officer arrived to rectify the mistake and put the bracelet back on. It could have gone a different way if it was a different person, I guess, yeah. I have no words. Corrections today acknowledged an error had been made by a staff member and admit the man had been unmonitored for about 48 hours. They say it was an isolated incident, but accept it should never have happened. And neither should these house arrest hacks. Zane Small, News Hub.